Hey, Rene, how are you? How are you, teacher? Good, good. How was your weekend? I'm fine. I drink beer <laughs> with, with my friends, family. Excellent. And drink beer where? In your house, in the, at the beach? In my house. In your house. Ah, okay. So you had a party in your house, Rene? No, no, no. No, there's no half party. It's you know, three, three, two friends, you know, three, two families. Oh, Good okay. night. Hello. And this uh, on Saturday or on Sunday? Saturday. Sunday, uh, Sunday, I'm going. To, I'm going to sleep all day. <laughs> okay. Good, good. Delia, how are you? How are you? <laughs> good. And you, Delia, how are you? Hi, fam. What did you do Saturday and Sunday, Delia? Um, oh, he says, wait. Salimos a pasear, a visitar a las visitas, my family. Okay. My home, home or algo así. Esposo. Husband? My husband? Husband. Husband. Fácil, fácil olvidarse, como se dice, va. Cabal. Ya, husband. And did you go husband. out to eat, uh, to drink, to watch a movie? Yes. Yes. What, Delia? What did you do? Ok, ok. La, las acciones que hicieron son lo, lo, eh, los verbos en pasado. Ah, ¿Qué hicieron sábado y domingo? I, eh, for example, I went to eh, San Blas, I went to El Boquerón, I watched Netflix. Uh -huh. No, um, I was going Mm. Solo watched. <laughs> watched. Watched. You too. Ah, walked. Sí. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. Juan, what did you do Saturday and Sunday? Mm. Saturday. Sunday, um, 
No tenés el micrófono encendido, Juan. Por eso e ella sigue hablando. <risa> ok, good evening. Good evening, Juan. Uh, on Sunday, I did play soccer. I played soccer. Yes, and listen to music. Only. Mm. Only. Okay. Okay, good. Ronnie, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? Hello, teacher. Uh, very, very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. I I work I I work in in the in the morning in and in the afternoon and the no in the after in the afternoon I Uh, I I went I went to the doctor a uh, pasar consulta como sería teacher Okay I went to the doctors así como lo dijiste I went I, to the doctor I, I went I went to the to the doctor and in the San Salvador Okay Más o menos va Good, that's good. That's good, Ronnie. All right. Good. Okay. Yes, yes. Excellent. Okay. Acuérdense que lo más importante es ir acordándose y practicando los verbos comunes que hacen en el pasado. Por ejemplo, comí, vi, compré. Entonces, esos verbos tenemos que ir practicando para que sean, que son los que normalmente hacemos, ¿verdad? Esos los tenemos que, son los primeros que tenemos que manejar. Entonces, I ate pupusas, I watched TV, I walked, okay, I went, I went, porque el went, ah, muchos lugares donde vamos, ¿verdad? I went to La Gran Vía, I went to Sonsonate, I went to eh, Boquerón, the difference, okay. Now, today we are going to learn the vocabulary for sports and activities. So today... We have lesson five. We're going to learn about sports, okay? In 5.0, the popular sports in the US and Canada. First, we have sports and seasons. Alguien sabe que son seasons? Temporada. Temporada, exacto. Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, summer, Spring, winter, fall, these are the seasons. En El Salvador solo tenemos dos, ¿verdad? We have the rainy season and we have the dry season. The rainy season with water, the dry season, no water. Okay. But in the other countries, they have four seasons. Today, we're going to learn about the different seasons. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. Okay, let's look first at the vocabulary. Okay, first, is okay the vocabulary? 
spring, summer, fall, and winter? ¿Entiende cuáles son esas temporadas? Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Una sería de nadar, la de summer. ¿Qué es summer? No, bueno, Verano. no es la, Verano. 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 Ok, muy bien. Summer, verano. Ok, and spring? Primavera. Primavera, excellent. Fall? I don't know. In fall, is the flowers, the flowers, the tree, they die. Exactly, very good. And the winter? Invierno. Invierno. Okay, okay. Good. Pero el invierno a diferente de Salvador, ¿verdad? Porque aquí le decimos invierno, pero no es invierno. Sí, allá nieva. Ajá, exactly. All right, let's learn some more activities. Okay, if you see, here we have the uh, verbs play and go, okay, play and go. Normalmente, si tiene una pelota, vamos a usar play. Si no tiene una pelota, normalmente vamos a usar go. Okay. Play skating and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. Okay. So, okay. Aquí podemos ver que usamos las temporadas in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the winter, or in El Salvador, in the rainy season or in the dry season. And then the activities, I play or I go, depend the activity, okay? In this moment, we're going to try with our partners. Do you play or do you go? Okay, so what do we have? One more time. Ah, with my partner, I say, ah, in the summer, I play this. In the winter, I play the other, okay? Or I go. You ready? Yes. Okay. Only a few moments, we practice, and then we try.
Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Uh, I don't understand lo que van a hacer. <laughs> ah, ok, no problem, no problem, Wilfredo. Ok, lo que vamos a hacer es similar. Vamos a escoger la temporada y vamos a decir qué actividades se hacen esa temporada. Por ejemplo, vamos a decir in the summer y qué se puede hacer in the summer. En El Salvador podemos usar in the rainy season, que es la temporada lluviosa, o in the dry season, que es la temporada seca. Pero también podemos hablar de otros países. Ah, por ejemplo, en Canadá, in the winter, ah, I can ski, I can go ski, I can play y diferentes cosas. Hay algunas que tal vez no sabes, por ejemplo, eh, boliche, ok, o, o billar, o diferente, pero eso se trata de ir viendo qué actividades o deportes podemos hacer en diferentes épocas. Ok. Como, como, question, teacher. Yes, yes. Eh, para, para, para decir, teacher, una, una pregunta, una consulta in the question, así. The question, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, a question, a question, por ejemplo, aquí están los ejemplos, lo que, cómo lo vamos a estructurar, ah, in the spring, ok, I play soccer, ok, or in the winter, I play cualquier cosa que hacen. Uh, ya, yeah. oh, okay. de, la, de las que están inmersas ahí, pero no podemos agregar otras. Sí, sí, sí. sí por eso es, se, se ah, puede agregar de acuerdo a las cosas que hacen o cosas, otro deporte okay. que saben. Eh, teacher, por ejemplo, en el verano, para, para decir piscucha, ¿cómo se dice? Fly a kite. Fly a kite. Ajá. Va. Fly a kite. Piscucha. Como elevar piscucha, fly a ¿Eh? kite. Fly a kite. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Cómo sentimos? Rápido el tiempo, ¿verdad? <laughs> The three minutes. Like this. Ok. Qué bueno que todos están de regreso porque habían algunas preguntas. Por ejemplo, había, ¿cómo se dice volar una piscucha? Ah, entonces, eso es una cosa que normalmente se hace in the fall. Ok, en, en los otros países se hace in the fall, which is fly in the kite, fly a kite. Entonces, voy a decir, in the fall, I fly a kite. Por ejemplo, ok. ¿Y cómo se dice boliche en inglés? I don't know. Ok. ¿Cómo se llama el lugar en El Salvador? ¿Cómo se llama el lugar donde van para jugar boliche? Galaxy Golding. Ah, y entonces, ¿cómo se llama el deporte? Bowling. Bowling. Eh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Mm, uh -huh. Excellent. Excellent. Galaxy Bowling. El lugar y el deporte, bowling. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Cuál otro deporte o cuál otra actividad quieren saber? Patinar. Oh, ok, muy bien. ¿Alguien sabe cómo se dice patinar en inglés? No. Ok, se llama date. Ok. Ya lo pongo en el chat. Ok. Ahora vamos a seguir viendo más, pero para poder ayudarnos, más estructuras, cómo hacer preguntas y qué tipo o qué diferentes preguntas podemos hacer. Ok. Let's take a look. 
Okay, now we continue from 5.2, 5.3. A ver, hoy vamos a ver WH question. ¿Alguien se acuerda que se llamaban los WH questions? ¿Nadie se acuerda que eran WH questions? Son aquellas preguntas que dan, tienen que dar una, una respuesta mayor. No es un sí o un no, sino que es más complejo. Excellent, Juan. Excellent. Exacto. Son las preguntas que requieren una respuesta mayor. Una pregunta abierta, muchas veces decimos, ¿verdad? Eso es WH questions. ¿Y cuáles son los WH? Ah, tenemos muchos. Tenemos, por ejemplo, aquí, what, who, where, how often, when, and what time. Okay. Hi, everyone. Ya vamos a ver el video un poco para ver la explicación, pero primero vamos a ver que nos acordemos bien. ¿Cuándo usamos what? ¿Qué significa what? ¿Qué? 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 Ajá. Muy bien. ¿Qué? Y siempre se usa para encontrar o averiguar información general. ¿Ok? What? What about who? What is the idea of who? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Solo que en inglés, cuando vamos a decir con quién, vamos a poner who y al final with. ¿Verdad? Va un poco separado y al revés. Es with, ok, con y who, ah, con quién. Pero lo decimos así. Por ejemplo, who do you play baseball with? Ok. Good. What about where? ¿Qué significaba where? ¿Dónde? Asking the place. The place. ¿Dónde? The location. ¿Dónde? Good. How about how often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Good, excellent. That's right. How often? And when? ¿Por qué? No por qué. Ese es why. Why es el por qué. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Sí, es de tiempo. Oh, okay. Exactly, the tiempo, when, and then, what time? A qué hora? A qué hora? hora? Excelente. Ahora vamos a ver el video y para que se nos va a hacer más fácil entender la explicación. Oh. Yes? Ay, quería copiar desde cuando. No, ya va, ya va a aparecer, no se preocupe, ya va a aparecer. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey. Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start. Okay. Antes de eso, okay, here we have the conversation. ¿Alguna palabra o cosa que no entienden? Teacher, esa palabra donde está el puntero, hockey, hockey, hockey algo así que dice, ¿qué Aquí. significa? Hockey. Ajá. hockey. Es, es este primer deporte, ese es el hockey, el segundo es baseball y el tercero es soccer. Hockey is normally in Canada, in Europe. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. um... Creo que eso no es era. Basketball. Ok, Ana. Bueno, a, 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 la otra que dice atleta, ¿verdad? Buen, buen atleta, ¿verdad? Ah, correct. Athlete. 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 Ok. 
Here. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more. Okay. Primero, ¿está bien todas las preguntas? ¿Entendieron qué hacen? ¿Qué significa todas las preguntas? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. This is like structure. No importa la pregunta. Miren aquí. What sports? Who? Where? How often? When? What time? Pero todos van a seguir esta misma orden gramatical. La misma estructura, solo cambian la pregunta, el contexto, pero no la estructura. Analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, okay, lo que le están enseñando es que esta es la forma común who do you, y después la pregunta, play baseball, play basketball with. Pero hay la otra forma que es correcta, que es como en español. En español, con quién juegas baseball. Entonces, esta es la estructura que también está correcta, solo que no es común porque es demasiado formal. Es una estructura bien formal que se utiliza. With whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. 
I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say who do you play with without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal okay. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Ya lo va explicando él. Lo primero es que vamos a practicar la conversación. Lauren and Justin. And then I switch and then I am Justin and Lauren. This is number one, practice the conversation. Number two is I ask my partner. Ah, my partner, partner, what sports do you play? Aquí está lo que puede contestar mi compañero. Lo, va con, lo de negro son todo lo que van a cambiar para su información, right? Entonces, ah, okay. I play with, ah, en vez de, I play with some friends from work. Tal vez ni ves a los compañeros de trabajo. Tal vez no van a ser amigos, tal vez familiares. Y ahí lo vamos a cambiar. Ok. Entonces, nuevamente. Conversation. We practice two times. And then we ask the question. The partner answer. Then the partner asks the question. And we answer. It's ok. It's okay. Any questions? Okay. Yes. Yes? No, any questions. No questions, okay. Okay, let's try. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well... I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, 
we want to know everything about the person's response I play baseball so we ask what sports who where how often when what time in order to form simple present WH questions we can follow this next formula WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement let's analyze a couple of questions now in the example where do you play the WH word is where then we add the auxiliary verb do after that we add the subject you next we add the verb play finally we add the complement in this case we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer we understand that we're talking about baseball there's one particular question that I would like to point out who do you play baseball with this type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with so I would like to explain the following we can ask this question in two ways the most common in American English is who do you play baseball with the other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball it's not very common but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this so to understand the question who do you play baseball with let me write a quick formula who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with as the example shows we start our question with who next we put an auxiliary verb do after that the subject you next we need to add the verb and noun play baseball I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun just the verb so we can easily say who do you play with without adding baseball finally we add with and the question mark now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions if possible practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions you may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind the goal is to practice as much as possible after you finish this activity please share your work in our discussion forums okay let's take a look and let's practice okay demonstrate so Juan ask Ronnie the questions okay uh, let me see Ronnie what sport do you do you play uh, I I pro, uh, I play I play I play in the soccer. Okay, I play soccer. I I play I play soccer. Sí. Mm -hmm. I play soccer. Continue when. Ask okay. any more questions. Who do you play soccer with? Uh, I play. I play. I I play soccer when in the in the friend in the friend and brother. Okay, where do you play? Uh, 
if we 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 play we play in the stadium in the stadium okay. in mm -hmm. stadium in the in, in the stadium in the stadium okay, okay. So is, uh, we we play in the stadium play okay we play oh. in the stadium. okay thank you juan all right okay. ronnie ronnie ask delia ask delia the questions okay uh, Hello, Delia. Ronnie, Hello. One moment, just one moment, okay? Después de la pregunta de what sports do you play, las, van a ser tres preguntas, pero las tres preguntas no tienen que ser en orden. Puede ser cualquiera de esas para que la persona practique lo que esté, para que practiquen escuchado y no solo viendo la respuesta, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, what, what sport do you play? No play. <laughs> what? I am not play. No, no, no. Lo dijiste bien la primera vez. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. <laughs> I don't play sports. Mm -hmm. and, uh, teacher, entonces, I am uh, in the finish. Exacto. Where? Exacto, ahí terminó, ahí, ahí finalizó. Se cortó. Uh -huh. Sorry. No problem, no problem. Cosas Delia, va. Ajá. Ok, Delia. Ask José Wilfredo. Eh, podría ser la misma, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. What sport do you play? I play soccer and basketball. Where do you play? Uh, we play um, home and park. How often do you practice? Practice? Uh, we practice on the weekends. What time do you start? Uh, we start at uh, then um, around six o'clock. Okay, thank you very much, Delia. Very nice. Jose, ask Ana Melara. Uh, bueno. uh, hi, Ana Melara. Hi. What sport do you What sport do you play? I play white sister and my friend. Mm, no. Repeat the question. What sport do you play, Ana Melara? I play um, basketball. Basketball, okay. Uh, my Sister and my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what time do you start? Uh, we start at 5 p.m. Okay. How often do you practice? Uh, we practice one weekend week yes one weekend yes okay. okay thank you thank you very good Ana Melara ask okay. Rene uh, where do you play Rene I play soccer in the stadium. Uh, when you practice? When do you practice? Uh, three times a week. Three, three times. Uh, three times in the week. Más o menos. Okay. Más o menos okay. es okay. Porque acuérdate que 
How often do you practice? It's three times a week. When do you practice? Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sundays? Okay. So, Rene, when do you practice? And the Sunday. Okay, good. Anna? Um, what sport do you play? Soccer. Uh -huh. I play soccer. I play soccer. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. Ahora ya que entendemos cómo estructurar las preguntas, vamos a ver unas cosas. Okay, very good. Auxiliary verb do. Okay. Ahorita acabamos de practicar deportes, pero ahora vamos a crear nuestra conversación. En vez de what sports, lo de Nick, yo quiero cambiar eso. Yo quiero ver de, ah, yo quiero saber de René, ¿qué película ve? Entonces, ya no voy a poner what sports, voy a poner what movie do you watch. Ok. Y las demás preguntas puedo preguntar, ah, ¿con quién miras las películas? ¿A dónde vas a ver las películas? ¿Qué frecuente vas al cine? Todas esas cosas lo que quiero ver. Pero digamos que yo no quiero saber de, de las películas. Yo, yo digo, ah, quiero averiguar un poco de comida. Ah, entonces le puedo preguntar a Ana. Ana, what food do you eat? Okay. Um, where do you eat hamburgers? Where do you eat pizza? Where... Ahí puedo ser yo creativo. Y eso es lo que queremos hacer. Tomar que estas preguntas que aprendimos y hacerlas nuestras, con nuestra información que queremos averiguar, averiguar qué, qué comida, eh, qué bebidas, qué actividad, cualquier otra cosa, pero lo vamos a hacer nuestro. ¿Es ok? Ok. Entonces, un ejemplo más. Yo de Ronnie quiero saber, ah, quiero saber, Ronnie, qué bebidas alcohólicas tomas. Ah, entonces le digo a Ronnie, en vez de what sports, entonces yo le digo, Ronnie, what alcohol do you drink? O what beer do you drink? Si quiero saber solo la cerveza, ¿verdad? Ronnie, what beer do you drink? Mm, I am like, I am, I am like, um, in the, in the cerveza, and in en roflor de caña. Uh -huh. In the cerveza, what in the beer? What do you drink? Pilsen. What beer? In the uh, I I drink I drink in the regia. <laughs> no no pilsen pilsen. <laughs> no no regia regia no ni regia. Okay. <laughs> okay. No no in the in the uh, I am, I, I, eh, como decir en este, en, en este momento, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? In this moment. I, I am, I am this, I am not in this moment. Yeah, I drink in the, in the, in in the, the cerveza and liquor. No sé si me entendió, Tiche. Sí. In this moment, okay. No, en este momento no toma cerveza ni licor, alcohol. Yes. Okay. Uh, in the... Uh, <laughs> Está en los uh, A, entonces. Uh, Alcohólicos uh, anónimos. No. <laughs> No, no, no. I am, I am not. 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 I Ok. Y eso es similar a lo que queremos hacer. Queremos hacer nuestras propias preguntas. No se preocupen. No se preocupen si se tardan en responder o hacer, pero lo quieren hacer suyo. Sus preguntas, 
sus respuestas. Siempre, de, siempre aprendemos, va. Otros temas, no solo el tema de ah, sports, 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 no, movies, books, drinks, food, lo que quieren averiguar de su compañero. Ah, yo Delia, yo creo que Delia le gusta ver telenovelas. Entonces yo le voy a preguntar, what series do you watch? Ah, pero a Juan le veo taller de que le gusta leer libros. Ah, entonces le voy a preguntar, what books do you read? Acuérdense cambiar el verbo y cambiar la idea de qué es lo que están hablando. ¿Ok? ¿Hay alguna palabra que quieren saber que no están seguros cómo se dice? Ok, let's practice. simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? 
the other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with, let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add wit and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, Rene, let me listen to two questions, two questions. A ver, dos que inventaste, ¿cuáles eran las dos? What do you like beer? What do you drink like beer? Okay, one. Mm -hmm. What do you hit like food? What do you, y cuál palabra usaste? What do you? Hit. ¿Qué comida te gusta? Vamos a cambiar el orden. What food, acuérdate que what así como eat? la pregunta what sports, primero va a ir la, para específico. What food do you eat? Ah, ok. Ok. Al revés. Al revés, exacto. A, así como el ejemplo de what sport, la, específico primero, qué deporte. Entonces, qué comida, what food. Ok. Ok. Y después la acción, ¿verdad? Y después la acción, what food do you eat? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Ronnie, bye. déjame escuchar dos preguntas que hiciste a tu compañero. Eh, what, what, do, what do you... What, no. What, what, do your, what do your profession? Mm. Sí, la idea, pero no. Porque dice, what is your profession? Okay, what is what, your profession? What is, what is your profession? Okay, okay. Uh, I, what, what, What uh, in the what what lie in the liquor or cerveza? Okay. What? Uh, what igual que el de René. Si vamos a ser específico, va a ir primero. What alcohol? What beer do you like? Así como el, la pregunta de what sport? Okay. What beer do you like? What beer? What beer you you like? Así. No, 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 no. Igualito que la pregunta del ejemplo. Venga. Shows. Here. We start our question. Esta estructura aquí. Okay. What beer? Okay. What, what beer, beer do you like? Okay. Wh. El what 
pero en vez de sports vas a poner what beer do you y el verbo ya no es jugar sino ah, okay. what beer do you like ah, entonces what what eh, what beer do you like sí exacto igual okay. puede ser what beer do you drink ok Delia déjame escuchar dos preguntas que que hiciste bueno, solo fue una en realidad. Está eh, bien. Okay, pero estuvimos conversando. Pues. Ok. Eh, era, what movie do you play? Do you like? Ok. What movie eh, do you like? Está bien, Delia. Está bien la pregunta. Don't worry. Ok. Juan Linares. Let me listen. Ok. Eh, how often do you eat lasagna? Mm, qué interesante, and, good, very good. And what food do you like? Okay, very good one, very good. Jose Wilfredo, two questions. What movies do you watch? Okay, sin la uh, S en el what, sin la S en el what, solo what. What movies do you watch? What, what movies do you watch? Okay. Uh, where do you, where do you watch? Okay. Movies. Where do you watch the movies? Correct. The movies. Good. Okay. Ana Melara. Eh, uh, una pregunta. When do like today? Eh, eh, perdón, eh, no, no, no se te escuchó bien. When do you like to the beach? Okay. When do you like to uh, go to the beach? Uh, Uh -huh. eh, sería go to the beach ¿verdad? sí, go to the beach ah, ok ahí me equivoqué porque solo le puse el beach okay. y el otro es, le pregunté which restaurant do you like to visit correct, correct y eso mismo vamos a seguir mañana practicando no solo deporte, pero la WH questions, what, where, who, ¿ok? Para que ya sin verlo, podemos mantener una conversación de que, ah, y qué te gusta, y a dónde vas, y qué restaurante recomendás, y que esa es WH, para eso la usamos, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, teacher. All right. Bye. I see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Good night.